Afrophilia by Franz Brent Harris. Presented by Black Artists Networks in Dialogue Band. Afrophilia is a love letter to black people. This work is inspired by the generation of young black people who are driving a shift in self-perception and changing our global consciousness of blackness to appreciate its immense value, diversity, and beauty. By rejecting respectability politics and refusing to be identified with narratives of oppression, they can instead identify with the joy of being human, black love as a revolutionary act. These sculptures in their vibrant orange and red reflect the energy and attitude of these revolutionary people, heroes that are deserving of this commemoration. This installation celebrates a culture of self-acceptance. This installation is presented by Black Artists Networks in Dialogue, Band, Gallery and Cultural Center in partnership with the City of Toronto. About the artist Franz Brent Harris, a Jamaican artist based in Toronto working in the medium of sculpture. His current work is predominantly figurative and explores the complexities of identity politics. Through his work he explores the constant tension of double consciousness and cognitive dissonance that corrupts the psyche of black, African and Caribbean people navigating white supremacy. Black Artists Networks in Dialogue Band is a charitable organization dedicated to supporting, documenting, and showcasing the artistic and cultural contributions of black artists and cultural workers in Canada and internationally. Band Gallery and Cultural Center is dedicated to developing emerging artists, curators, and administrators by providing an accessible venue to showcase their work to the general public. Afrophilia from October 1, 2022 to August 31, 2023. The Toronto Sculpture Garden is located at 115 King Street East, just east of Church Street, directly across the street from St. James Cathedral and between two of the oldest buildings in the city, dating from the 1840s. The park is approximately 80 by 100, 25m x 30m and is open to the public between 8am and 11pm. With its proximity to King Street to the north and the St. Lawrence Market neighborhood to the south, the park serves a wide variety of users, from those who live and work in the area to visitors to the neighborhood and the city, people of all ages, those seeking out art and those coming across it by accident.